What's good YouTube? With the release of the new iPhone 12 and the release of the new sets of Apple Watches, Apple's platforms on both of these devices are better and more feature packed than ever. In this video, we'll be going over all the options that you can change in your iPhone's Apple Watch app in order to customize and use your Apple Watch to your liking. If you like this kind of content, leave a message down below. Don't forget to subscribe and thanks for watching. So let's start in the app view option. In the app view, there's three options where you can switch from grid view or list view. Grid view is that familiar Apple Watch view where your apps are displayed in a honeycomb grid. You can switch it to list view where the apps are displayed in a more traditional alphabetized list format that you can easily scroll through using your Apple dial. I prefer grid view because of the custom arrangement that I can get on my Apple Watch to the next option, which is arrangement. If you tap on arrangement, you'll be treated with an iPhone version of the honeycomb grid from your Apple Watch. Here you can move individual apps around to make sure that the apps you use the most are placed most conveniently where you know them to be on your honeycomb grid. Next we'll move into the general portion of the Apple Watch settings. If you hit about, you'll be able to see the name of your Apple Watch, other important information like your Apple Watch's capacity, which version of watchOS you're running, and the model number of your Apple Watch. If you go into software update, here is where you can have your iPhone and your Apple Watch check if you have the latest version of watchOS. Automatic install is for apps that you have on your iPhone that are also present on the Apple Watch. When you turn automatic app install on, if you have an app on your iPhone that isn't already installed on your Apple Watch, it will automatically install this app on your Apple Watch. Pretty convenient feature if you use some apps like fitness apps that are found both on the iPhone and the Apple Watch. Next is the airplane mode option. Here you can turn mirror iPhone on. In this case, when you turn on airplane mode on your iPhone, it also turns on airplane mode on your Apple Watch as well. Do Not Disturb turns on and off notifications on your Apple Watch. Mirror iPhone also allows you to use Do Not Disturb on your Apple Watch when it's turned on on your iPhone. Watch orientation is for people that wear their Apple Watch on their left or their right wrist. If you wear it on your right wrist, you want to switch the option to right wrist as it changes the sensors to make sure that the Apple Watch is correctly detecting that the watch is on your right wrist. Specifying which side you like the digital crown, left or right, also helps the Apple Watch know when to wake the display and how to orientate it. It's also involved in helping me accurately record an ECG. Next is the language and region. Here you can have the Apple Watch mirror your iPhone language and region setting or set a custom language and or region setting for your Apple Watch as well. Apple ID, of course, is where you punch in your Apple ID information and log in to use all the features of your Apple ID. Background app refresh is where the Apple Watch will pull new information on apps that are connected to the internet on your Apple Watch. If you want to conserve data or battery life on your Apple Watch, you can turn this off or on depending on your preference. Enable dictation is dictation enabled on your Apple Watch. Next is handoff where you can continue a task and or app across multiple Apple devices. Both devices must have handoff enabled for this to work. Most common use of this is when you have a phone call on your iPhone and you want to hand it off to your Apple Watch. If both handoff is enabled on both devices, you'll have an option during the call to hand it off to the Apple Watch. Next is the wake screen option. Here you can change or customize various options of how your Apple Watch is woken. Wake on wrist rise is when you flip your wrist up to wake the Apple Watch. Wake on crown up is when you turn the Apple crown to increase the brightness on your screen. On tap is when you tap on the face of your Apple Watch and how long the screen will remain on for 15 and or 70 seconds. Turn to clock is when how long it takes for the Apple Watch to be on to return to the main watch face. You can set this to always, after two minutes, after one hour, or after a crown press. 
Night mode is the ability to use the Apple Watch as a nightstand clock while it's charging. Handy feature of this is that if you have an alarm on your Apple Watch, the screen on the Apple Watch will gently brighten up in the minutes upcoming to the alarm. Enable screenshots allows you to enable screenshots on your Apple Watch. To take a screenshot, press the side button and the digital crown at the same time. The screenshot is then saved to the camera roll of your iPhone. Uses is where you can check the storage and the standby time since the last charge on your Apple Watch. Next up we have display and brightness. Here you can check three options on your Apple Watch. The brightness, the text size, and the bold text. Next is the accessibility options on your Apple Watch. Here you can turn on voiceover which voices over various functions on the Apple Watch. You can also turn on zoom which enables zoom mode on your Apple Watch. Here things are zoomed in three times on your Apple Watch and you can use one and two finger gestures to navigate the zoomed in Apple Watch display. Bold text turns on bold text on the Apple Watch. On off labels adds an extra one or zero digit to the standard white green toggle modes on the Apple Watch switches. Reducing transparency increases the contrast on your Apple Watch screen by reducing the transparency. Reduced motion limits animation and automatic resizing of Apple Watch user interface items on the home screen and when launching and exiting apps. Chimes can be turned on or off and you can schedule the chimes based on the settings in the chimes menu. You can also adjust the motor of the side button click speed on your Apple Watch and also the touch accommodations as well. Next up are the Siri options. You can turn on Listen for Hey Siri on your Apple Watch. Turn this feature off if you're trying to conserve battery life on your Apple Watch. Raise to Speak also allows you to access Siri by simply flipping your wrist up on the Apple Watch. The third option to access Siri is to press Digital Crown. Here, pressing the Digital Crown allows you to prompt Siri. Next are Sound and Haptics, where you can change the volume of various sounds and alerts. Turn on Silent Mode and also adjust a few things for headphone notifications. Here you can turn on or off the notifications when you've been using the headphones for too long and you can also reduce the amount of loud sounds from your headphones. This automatically reduces the sounds coming into your headphones over a certain decibel limit. Haptics are where you can turn on or off haptic alerts and you can also adjust the haptic feedback when you rotate the crown. Cover to mute is where you can mute the Apple Watch when you receive alerts by resting your palm on the display of the Apple Watch for at least 3 seconds. Here you'll receive a haptic feedback tap to confirm that the Apple Watch has been muted. Next up is privacy where there's some pretty important features that you can turn on or off that will really affect how you can use your Apple Watch as a fitness tracker. Here you can turn on heart rate sensing on or off and it can track your heart rate on your Apple Watch throughout the day. Fitness tracking on or off uses the various Apple Watch sensors to track your body's movement, including your step count, calories burned, and fitness levels while you're wearing your Apple. Environmental sound measurements uses the microphone on your Apple Watch to track how much environmental sound and the levels of the environmental sound that you're experiencing throughout the day. This same feature also applies to headphones as your Apple Watch will track the amount of audio exposure coming through your headphones that are connected to your Apple Watch. So there you have it everyone. These are the settings that you can adjust on your iPhone to customize the usage of your Apple Watch to your preference and liking. If you like this kind of content, leave a message down below. Don't forget to subscribe.